Hello everyone! So far we learned how to make a string and apply a force to it. Then we changed the material of the string. And finally we used all kinds of controllers. Today we learn how to change the connections to the string. So here is open my new script that I called my string connections.mos. Until now we only use the force connection to move our string. As we can see in the Modalis online documentation, we have a lot of connections. Let's strike our string. In my connection area, I'll make a strike connection. Make connection strike to my string axis and the initial position will be at 1. Now I change the sound controller by the envelope in the force axis. We barely hear any difference. Let's pluck our string to see what's happened. As an exercise, you can have fun with the envelope of our force connection and adding a strike axis to change the axis parameters. First of all, we have to create a new object to pluck our string. It can be a finger, a hammer, a plectrum, you name it. Under my string, I'll write a new comment. My plectrum. That I will store in a variable so I can use it later. Set F my plectrum. And I'll make a new object called a mono2 mass. Make object mono2 mass. We'll see in a future tutorial, when we'll talk about object, that the masses object are extremely important in Modalis. They will be the object we are using for striking, plucking, bowing, etc. As I said, it can be a finger, a plectrum, a hammer or even a bow. We are using two masses, a small one that is connected to our string and the large one that we will manipulate. Those two masses are connected by a spring. For our plectrum we will use monodirectional masses, which means that will affect only the trans zero, the horizontal direction. You can go back to tutorial 1 if you don't remember what those means. Now we'll need to create two new axes. The first to the tip of our plectrum and the second to the top. Under the two axes to the string, I'll bound my plectrum tip and top in two new variables. Set F my plectrum tip. I'll create an axis to our plectrum. Make axis my plectrum, which will have a value of 1. In our case, it means the tip of the plectrum or the small mass. And of course, as we have a monodirectional mass, we can access only the horizontal axis, trans zero. I'll copy paste this line and change tip by top. And our axis will be in the big mass, so I'll change 1 by 0. To pluck our string, we'll use the position connection instead of the force, so I will need to change the values of our envelope. Let's say that at 0 seconds I'll be at 10 centimeters high. Zero. 
0 0.1. Then, I'll push the string down of 10 cm. 0 0.01 minus 0 0.1. And I'll go back 10 cm above the string. 0 0.02. 0 0.1 We'll see it on the graph later. We can delete the sound file controller. Now, we need to change the connections. First, I'll change strike to pluck. We will pluck my string axis. And the initial position of our string axis will be at zero. My plectrum tip, which is the small mass, will be the axis on object to be plucked, and the initial position will be at zero dot one. Finally, we'll give to our plectrum connection a constant value of 50 newtons. Const 50. To control the position of our plectrum, if you remember it will be the big mass, we'll need to change our force connection to a position connection. We'll need to connect our position to my plectrum top. which will be controlled by my envelope. To visualize the envelope, I'll comment everything except our envelope plot value and the plot graph. I will comment the save AIFF file and Here we can clearly hear the plectrum of the string. Before we go further, take a break and try changing the envelope parameters to understand how the plug connection works. You should also have a look at the Modalis online documentation. In this tutorial, we strike and plug our string. In the next tutorial, we'll finally bow our string. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can thumb up or subscribe. For any questions, suggestions or remarks, please feel free to leave a comment below. Goodbye!